welcome back another video i mean really i kind of need videos on now so <clears throat> i've got a 2018 mercedes atos uh, i've already diagnosed what the fault is um, this is coming up with an exhaust emissions fault no lacking power and nothing like that uh, so we've plugged it in i'll quickly show you that so active acm which is the exhaust treatment system we have see it. so that is control unit not notch not source sensor and um after treatment exhaust system input so before we've done the output which is not after so now we're going to do a not before i'm going to show you the part number we use what kit you use where it's fitted uh, and everything like that the usual really so just um We'll go for how you do it, where it's located, and then we'll get cracking on with it. But so we've got the fault there, we've saved that, and now we're gonna I'll show you where the actual sensor goes, and then we'll go from there. So, first of all, this is where the sensor's fitted down here. Knocks before, knocks after. If you look at the exhaust, left hand side is input, right hand side is output. This is the part you'll need. A010 153 1428. That's input, not before sensor. You'll need some cable tie cutters to cut the cable ties, 22mm, and then 10mm socket, a lip quarter inch, lip extension, and a spanner. And then like a little pick or a little flat blade screwdriver to take the plug off. So, pretty simple that way. So, I'll show you underneath, we'll show you where the actual sensor is located, and then we'll go from there. So if you look at the wiring, sensor goes from here, down, one, two bolts there, one, two bolts, the whole cage will come off, plugs here, and it's at focus, and we to take a little clip off of the wiring here, other than that, it's not a bad job, so let's get set up and then uh, let's start ripping this sensor out. So, sit on there. That's the sensor. Um, sorry, that's the socket we use. I was mentioned about this before. Remember, if they're tight and you don't need them for warranty, just cut the fucking one off. Put a 22 mm socket over it and do it, but. Scan will try and save it and uh, get it out that way. Yeah, easy, that just slots over the wiring straight onto the sensor. Use like a half inch valve or something and crack it off. So, I'm going to attempt to undo that. And hopefully we should have it off so let's get this last bit of the sensor up so it's been a little bit awkward so we'll have to get a socket cut that off and do it with a normal one so that should technically be out there's our sensor it's shitty so we'll just that away. What I normally do is just get a pick, just clean out in there, make sure all the threads are all good, and then we'll stick in this new one. There's our new sensor there. So let's get that cleaned up and start fitting the new one. <laughs> Okay, so we've uh, replaced the knock sensor. Let's um, plug it in, clear all the faults, make sure the light goes out. But with these Mercedes, if you have an exhaust emissions fault, I've found, maybe not necessarily everyone else, but whenever I've had the fault and it's not been the problem, it won't clear the light. Not like a DAS where sometimes it can clear it, this won't clear it, it's as simple as that. So let's turn ignition on, plug it in, and then hopefully it should be in an active fault. We can clear it, road test it, and then we should be all good. So first what we're gonna do, go in the trucks, Mercedes Actros 4, 2018, takes a lifetime. We'll just skip all that, and we'll just go quickly into anti-pollution. This takes a while, this thing does. 
you can see that a little bit better. So, that'll be that gone. Let's try again. So, let's go back. We're going to a diagnosis. There we go. So, non present errors there. They're all cleared, so they technically should. I'm just clear. So that's that. I'll just quickly re check it. Deleting is finished. We'll re check it again. No faults. So if we start it up, should. The uh, number of events will be because the diagnostics plugged in. You see there. So, no other faults. Only fault, we've got no engine light, so we've cleared all that. So we'll give it a run up the road, and then fingers crossed, we should be okay. So that's the road test done. No problems, no warning lights on. I know there would be once it's clear as the fault, you're normally pretty good, so. God. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's similar to the last Mercedes we did. Obviously, that was Knox after. This is just Knox before. I'm just trying to get the content out. You know, you don't just replace a Knox after. You have, you know, loads of different faults. So I'm going to try and, if I get any wiring faults or even do a bit of trailer stuff, we might do that. Uh, just simple, basic stuff. So we'll, uh, I'll try and get as many videos out as I can for you all. So I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you can carry on liking and, and um, subscribing. Click the notification bell if you want for any more videos. I'm going to try and do two a week if I can. So I hope you're enjoying them and I hope I can see you all again soon. Take care.